we've officially now been at Swift for over a month. We officially started July 13th. Uh, it is the morning of uh, August 15th. Uh, I've been with Swift now for over a month. Uh, I know I just said that. But uh, just want to let you all know that uh, so far um, it's still the better of the decisions I've made in my career. Um, first off, uh, you're asking yourself, well, how do you feel versus what you used to do? First off, I love the Qualcomm over paper logs. Um, I love the fact that it takes me t like a half a second to sit there and change my status from on duty to driving to, to off duty to all that. Um, I love the fact that uh, I have very little phone interaction with my driver manager dispatchers. Uh, most of that is you send messages out uh, via the Qualcomm and uh, usually within a half hour max, depending on what time of the day and day of the week it is, you get a response back. Um, you have an issue, like on the weekend, they're usually on it within a half hour, hour, uh, at least giving you some kind of instruction on what to do, where to go, how to do it. Um, my old job, the dispatcher used to sit there and oh, I need to think about this and I don't know and maybe I'll send you here and then of course you get a run going totally opposite of what you thought or you tell you well I'll be ready to go out Monday at 4 next thing you know well you're off to Wednesday and you're just like what the hell um, so basically stuff like that was what was getting old um, Right now, I'm making uh, close to eight and a half, nine a week with the miles I'm doing. Um, I'm doing easily close to 2,500 a week. Um, most of my runs are 1,000 mile plus runs. Um, and then sometimes they'll throw a 500 mile run in there just to get to another spot where they have another big run waiting for me. Um, my other job was maybe I think 400 to 500 miles out, 400 to 500 miles back. Um, but uh, running paper logs with that one, it was more of a get out there, turn and burn, not even downtime, and uh, that will get really old really quick. And I kind of got tired of that. It's nice now to be down for 10. Um, advantages to the new job? Well. I'm kind of, I call it a cheater compared to most uh, solo guys, and you guys can all be mad at me for this one. Having the wife in the truck is the biggest cheat. And the reason I say that, yes, I do spend 30 bucks every month to have her in the truck. But the catch is, having her in the truck means when I get done with my day, I have somebody who's willing to take care of laundry, willing to take care of cooking, keeps the truck clean. Um, my job, drive the damn truck make sure the truck runs, um, you know, everything that, that pertains to my job. Uh, and other than that, other than like working on videos for you guys, um, which I work help work on hers too when she does, and also be her, her videographer when we're doing the cooking aspects of this, um, when she wants me to. Um, basically it makes it so I can focus in on the job and kill those th uh, those hours. You know, it's like, um, like yesterday. Um, messaging. I'm you have gonna, 11 hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. I'm already at my delivery, first of the two. But like yesterday, I hammered down driving time. I did 10 hours and 22 minutes. We did 594 miles. Now that was from where we picked up our load to where we're, our first of the two deliveries is. We had to do that because we had a delay with the shipper. But guess what? Because Sam's understanding and can go with the flow, I think we only had like a two-minute rest stop. I mean, we're talking in stop. It, they didn't. It didn't even register when I put ourselves off duty for that. Um, other differences. Um, I'm loving the drop and hook. I don't have that many uh, uh, live loads and unloads. Um, this is a rarity. I think I do maybe once every two weeks, uh, depending on what I'm doing. Usually a lot of it's drop and hook. Like, I already know what my next pickup is here in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, I'm going all the way to Turbo TV, Turbotville or something like that. Uh, PA, another thousand plus mile run. Um, we'll hammer that out like it's nothing because we do this enough. 
Um, the other thing is, is you you be mindful of your hours, and uh, you can pull off some some real fun uh, from some fun runs. Um, as for downtime and the reset, the 34-hour reset was a cross between our choice because we only had a couple hours we would have gained back the next day. The location of our reset was not like of choosing. We were like down to like the 45 minute or less warning. I think we were down to like a half hour um, and we were low on fuel. That was the other one. Between low on fuel and the warning, we just needed to shut the truck down. Not exactly where we wanted to, but we ran with it and all that. But like I said, uh, like Jerry says, you just put that on a list of don't stop there unless you have the fuel only, you know. Um, as for the, still as for the new job, um, you know what? Um, they have this categorization at Swift. You start off bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, uh, like that. And because of the way of my delivery statuses are like on time, never late. Um, I'm efficient at what I do. Uh, you know, I'm Johnny on the spot with the Qualcomm uh, now because I know how to do it properly. Um, and as you've seen, I'll put a picture in here. I'm sick of being a fat kid, too. I've been making excuses all my life. But I know deep down that if I took responsibility and really tried hard, and we all try together, will we really... Of, like, the macros I use daily, I, I cheated and I printed them off and put them up. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm pretty much... If you get into a routine with this job, it's the biggest thing you're doing is driving. Um, it's not tough. Uh, the toughest thing I always tell people, and I had a cabbie once recently, I thought it was funny, she was like, somebody was whining that she could drive a truck. Anybody can drive it forward. Anybody. Anybody can drive it forward. Toughest job a truck driver has is backing it up. That's where you got to be skilled. You know, driving forward, you know, if you're in a tight area like a, a shopping center or something like that, yeah, forward can be tough. But backing that sucker up is the most difficult thing you ever do in a rig. And anybody who says different is full of shit. And that's that's my opinion on that. Um, anyways, if you guys have any questions, uh, anything like that, uh, just put them down below. Uh, as you see, Sam and I are pretty good at responding. And just to let you guys know, any responses throughout the day, 90% of the time it's from Sam, um, unless we're stopped somewhere for a break or something. Sam is the one who does all the responding to all you guys. Um, we at least get them. She'll let me know. And then usually at night when we're down for the day, um, you know, she'll uh, she'll say, hey, you got a whole bunch of questions here from fans and viewers. And, uh, you know. So anyways, uh, I thank you guys for watching this lovely nine-minute video. Uh, this is Zombie Hunter 028 or the Trucking Zombie Hunter. And Eagle Killer back there, killing my ego by giving me strange looks already this early <laughs> at 4 in the morning. Um, we'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to try to get this up between now and the next stop. Um, and we do have some more cooking videos coming up. So you guys watch out for those cooking videos. Uh, you got it, some great ideas. Yeah, we actually came up with uh, some Mexican ideas with the crock pot and all that. Well, I see the manager still looking at me from behind. And I'm going to get the hell out of here and make me some money. Talk to you guys later. Oh, come on! What the hell?